Hey guys, Matt uh, from matt-hickey.com photography here again. Um, today's episode, I want to talk about using medium format lenses on your digital SLR. Okay, so uh, this episode probably won't be for everyone, but um, I have a medium format camera. Uh, so this is the Mia RV67 Pro. Uh, so, a really nice studio camera and um, beautiful lenses that I've got. So, I've got uh, two for, for this one. So, I've got the 180mm and also the 90mm, which in medium format that uh, you roughly halve that. So, pretty much I've got a 90mm, which is more the portrait style lens, and then I've got uh, around about a 45 so more of a wide angle lens. and. Uh, yeah, so I've always wanted to um, have like a digital back for my film camera. So uh, obviously purchasing 120 film is, is getting tough um, and more expensive. Shooting film, it has its costs uh, and not as quick, all the usual sort of drawbacks to film. Um, and obviously shooting with a digital back would be fantastic. Just straight into the computer and you can and run from there. Just the expense is crazy, so uh, I actually can't get a digital back for this guy, but the next model up is a Mamiya RZ, and you can still buy them online quite cheap, um, so places like kdh.com, uh, yeah, you can pick up a body for around about that sort of three, four hundred dollars in very good condition. And yeah, the RZ can actually take a digital back. But for a digital back, you're probably looking between five and ten thousand dollars for something that's got a, a decent megapixel count. So really, that's outside my price range and not really, not something I want to do. So instead, I started thinking, well, how can I use the really nice traits of the glass, but have the advantages of digital as well? And obviously, that's a case of pulling the lens off and adapting it to your digital SLR. So I did a bit of hunting around and I found a company uh, which do actually provide a, an adapter for the Mamiya to Nikon. Uh, so I run a Nikon D810. But the one big issue is uh, for a lens of this type is there's no focusing. So all the focusing is actually done through the bellows. So as you can see, screw this out, screw this back in, and that's what's actually doing the focusing. So it's not just a straightforward ring adapter of a standard conversion unit. So let's say, for example, my Leica lenses to the Nikon. That has obviously the, um, the Leica screw mount and going through uh, an adjuster lens and then going on to a Nikon camera mount. Uh, that's fairly straightforward uh, and easy to make. They're typically fairly cheap. But for this one, it was going to require something different. And this company actually produced a lens adapter that has a focusing ability in it as well. So it expands out and contracts so the lens can actually focus. So I uh, picked this up in the mail probably about a week ago and it's actually on the lens that we're recording through now. And I gotta say the tests that I've done from it, and I'll flick a few of those on screen now for you, uh, it's just all the beautiful traits of this medium format lens. Nice and creamy, super sharp, uh, just really nice lens. So I'm getting that quality and put straight onto a 36 megapixel digital image. So I'm absolutely loving this lens at the moment, uh, this lens adapter setup. Uh, just yeah everything I want to do in my photography at the moment um, so obviously to match uh, being able to manually focus with this lens I needed a focus screen as well so you can check out my other video on the focus screen that I purchased uh, so that gives me the ability to focus with these manual focus lenses uh, so the whole setup uh, obviously I've got my Mamiya lens sitting on to this adapter which then mounts into the Nikon mount 
and then that's going into the K3 focus screen, which gives me a split prism to focus on subjects. Um, so once again, it just lines up. As soon as it's lined up in the prism, I know I've hit focus. And uh, yeah, that's been um, output into a digital image file, so which I can then manipulate and do what I normally do in my image workflow. So love this whole setup. Again, I know this video is not going to be for everyone, but if you do have some older cameras lying around and some nice lenses, this is a really cheap way to get into using those lenses again because they often give a very different characteristic to what we normally get from the modern lenses, which are super sharp, but they often don't have that character about them that um, give a really nice creamy sort of feel. Um, and yeah, they're just brilliant lenses to work with. So definitely go through your covers and find out what old gear you have. Maybe friends and family have some stuff uh, that you could borrow or they probably just pass on. They don't use the film stuff anymore. Uh, so yeah, definitely get in and, and start playing around with some of these lenses uh, and check out these adapters. I'll uh, provide a link in the show notes just so you can check out where I bought mine from. Uh, I don't have any affiliation to them. I just did a bit of a web search and found these guys and they seem to do quite a nice uh, adapter lens. And I must say from uh, using it for about a week now, it's, the lenses are very heavy on the RB um, and there's quite a lot of weight from the camera body. So uh, they actually provide a tripod mount on the uh, adapter ring. Uh, so you can mount it there and that makes focusing a lot easier as well. It does extend out and back, which obviously adds more weight to the uh, focusing system. So it can get a little bit tough at times, but I've, I've learned that if I have the camera mount uh, or tripod mount in the palm of my hand and the lens sits over the top of that, that I can quite easily turn the lens and I, I don't have any issues at all. So uh, yeah, overall, very, very happy with this uh, adapter and I'm yeah, over the moon that I can actually use my Mamiya lenses on the digital camera. All right, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, we'll catch up again soon.